Good morning. How y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Tuesday morning, y'all. Rise and shine. <laughs> it's morning already. Already. <laughs> so, Miss Kay got a new creamer for y'all this morning. It's called Sweet Cream. Now, I, don't, I think I've tried them all. So, we're going to try this one and see what it do. Okay. The raspberry white chocolate was delicious. The cookie dough was delicious. The caramel was delicious. And the uh, last one I had was, um, I think it was some kind of cake. Was that cinnamon carrot cake? Yes. That was good. All these are delicious. All these are delicious. So today we're going to try the sweet cream. Simple and delicious, good for great mornings, packed sustainably. All right. There you go. And then we're going to do the daily bread this Left a little bit of room for some creamer. <laughs> Alright, let's get it down to the last drop. Mm. Mm. That smells so good. So good. Shaking it up. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I should have left a little bit more room. A little bit too much water. And we're gonna put a little teaspoon of sugar in there. Get your first sip. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what it's like. Let's see what the cream is. Mm. Well, I can say this all these creamers are win win. So that's, I guess that's pronounced Kabani, Kabani, or Shabani. Kabani, Shabani, all these are a win-win, every last one of them, okay? 
So let's get into the daily bread. Miss K got to get dressed. Oh, it's one of them mornings. I was sleeping so good. Okay, let's get it. But it's fine, go dead. <laughs> It's March the 26th, the day is Tuesday, and it's 49 degrees outside. All right, let's get it in. Let's get it in. All right. Oh, good morning, Jesus. Thank you for waking me. I said I've done anything to offend anyone. I apologize. Forgive me for my sins. It's going to be a beautiful day, Lord. Go before me. Go with me. And have my back, Jesus. Amen. Okay. This is going to be coming out of James 5 and 20. Let him know that he which coveteth the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. Again, that's James 5 and 20. There is a sense in which we can convert others to the Lord. There is also a sense in which men must turn themselves and there is a yet different third sense in which only God can convert men. These are not contradict, contradict, contradict I can't even say it, contradictory idea, <laughs> ideas when we see in the light of the scriptures. But it is important not to confuse the, the preacher's role in presenting the truth. The sinner's role is responding to it. And God's provincial and gracious overruling of the whole conversation, the conversion event. Excuse me, I was there. Lord, let us seek to lead others to know you. We cannot force them to turn to you in repentance and faith. We know they must turn willingly, and we know that it is you who sends preachers out to preach your word to the lost, and that it is you who brings men dead in trans trans trespasses. <laughs> My law and sins to life that they might covenant to you. Let us seek to be used of you to turn many to Christ, knowing that he who wins souls is wise. Proverbs 11 and 30. So that's what you can go read. Now that's, 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 that's a good one. Okay, let's go to the quiz, 520. Ugh. Boldness in love. 